Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. So today we have a, another suggestion from the comment section. Now this one here, this video is from Matt Rose and it's called, what's the cringiest thing you've done to impress your crush or a crush? Um, yeah, the name already sounds kind of nutty. Brings back some not so great memories, but hey, um, it sounds entertaining. So let's give it a shot. Um, as always, link to the original video is down in the description. The video is a bit older. It's over one year ago, but I think it should hold on to the age of time, considering what kind of topic it is. So, um, everything is set up. All right. Enough talking. Wait, let me, I think I need to lower my volume as well. Oh yeah, I absolutely do. So let's see if everything's working. I made a girl called Debbie a mixtape. This was the late eighties and they were a thing. Midway through, I added my own bit of spoken word poetry to try to win her over. As the music fades away, we make sweet, sweet music of our own. I gave her a couple of weeks to sink in, then called. As the music fades away. Uh. Hey Debs, uh, did you listen to the, the tape I gave you? No, I gave it to my brother to listen to in his barrack room. Her brother was in the RAF. Bro got a fucking restraining order after what's or what. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm positive Ooh. we've all done this, and if you think you haven't, either you're yet to do it, or you already have, and just haven't realised. In sixth grade band, I used to stare up at the lights above the stage, because I thought it would make my eyes sparkle if my- I used to stare up at the lights above the stage because I thought they would make my eyes sparkle. Crush up to look over and see me. Look it back, I probably looked as if I had a mild stroke. Punched my face a bunch. What? to bruise and swell it so I can say I got in a fight and totally kicked the other guy's ass. Okay. My crush was a kid who lived down the block from my house. Mm -hmm. I stole his dog okay. from his yard and then went to his front door to return it and get to talk to him. He said he saw me take him out of the yard. Bro, there's so much wrong with that. You stole his dog just so you have a reason to talk to him. And he saw you. You know what? I'm not even mad. Because you kind of deserve that one. What the fuck? I was in middle school and I had a crush on my best friend's brother. One day we saw Rio. I thought he'd be impressed if I showed him how smart I was by disproving everything in the movie. It was mostly stuff like, you know, uh, birds. Um, actually can't, can't really do that. Tried to raise a scooter down the steepest. What? What? Tell around, crashed into the back of a funeral hearse and shattered the back window. Cringy Wait, I think my audio is a bit too low. Let me, let me put it higher so I can understand properly. Scooter down the steepest hill around, crashed into the back of a funeral hearse and shattered the back window. Wee, 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 wee. I, uh, um... Yeah. The cringiest thing I'd ever done what? for a girl was get a box of chocolates shaped like a heart, then wrap it with a love poem that went like, Knuckles is red, Sonic is blue, and, and I forget the rest. No, Kralicon, no. On the off chance you're watching oh, this, boy. you got to message me and tell me how that fucking poem ends. Rufus23 hasn't forgotten though, and strap yourselves in because okay. this is a... Nine years ago. Yo. That is an old one, plus the video is one year old, so it's like 10 years ago. Okay. Okay. Bad one. I drew a picture of a knight fighting a dragon and wrote a note asking her out. The note began. Hey, 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 Art 
What thou, single? Third grade oh. sent a letter to his house like a dork. Meets me in the schoolyard Saturday. That spelling error has haunted. Oh. Oh, okay. I. Meet me. Bro, what? Me for years. I once put a 1,500-piece puzzle of a plain field together and wrote a love note on the back for her. I then took it apart piece by piece and repackaged it to give her as a present because she told me she really liked puzzles. What? Like... I have to acknowledge the dedication and the time you took for that, but what the fuck? I later found out she donated it after I'd given it to her because it looked too hard to make. Made a oh. PowerPoint presentation oh. for a girl, highlighting all the ways we'd be good together. I Bro, what? A fucking PowerPoint presentation. He came prepared, you know? He absolutely came prepared. What the fuck? I gave her my mother's engagement ring. What? Built her name out of Lego. What? Ah, first grade crushes. Uh, that was two days ago. Oh. What? I thought girls were attracted oh. to guys with open mouths. Huh? I don't know what gave you that impression. I'm really curious. What? I mean, mate, what were you thinking? Don't ask me what I was thinking, but as a young kid, seeing commercials with models with dramatic looks in their faces, mouths open, no wonder chicks dig them. So I would walk around with a dramatic what? look on my face and my mouth slightly open, thinking I was hot. When I was seven, I had a crush on a girl eight who told me she absolutely loved the smell of petrol. Oh, no. From then on, whenever I went to visit her, I drained about a half cup petrol from the lawnmower and splashed it all over me. I hey, yo, what the fuck? Bro. What? Over me. I'd bake cupcakes to try and get to him through his stomach. But I thought it was weird to just give him one, so I'd randomly bake them for the whole class. But okay. I didn't want it to seem like I was only doing this for him, so I'd bake them for other classes too. Sometimes he wouldn't even eat one. Change. Wait, wait, what? So I'd bake them for other classes too. So essentially you just... Baked cake for the entire school. But you wanted only your crush to eat it, essentially. But he didn't even eat it. Oof. That is an... That is a big F moment. Um, but I'm sure your classmates appreciated it. Obviously wouldn't even eat one. Changed oh. careers. Got baptized. Moved to Denmark. Joined the US Marines. I ate a slug. Wait, they are all talking about what they did, right? Not what their crush afterwards did. Got baptized. Moved to Denmark. Oh, what's the cringiest thing you've done to impress your crush? You moved to Denmark to impress your crush. The fuck? You moved to a different country. All so you could impress your crush. What? Fuck joined the US Marines. Now considering how much shit these soldiers sometimes have to go through. Oh. That's also a big oof. I ate a slug. I did a uh, To impress her? I'm really afraid of hides. 
oh my god, bungee jumping would be the fucking worst for me. That would be the absolute nightmare. Like, I'm also terrified of heights. Like, just just standing on a big or like a tall building and looking down, that's enough to get me scared. Like, I already have a hard time dealing with that. But bungee jumping, I think I'd probably piss and shit myself at the same time. Oh my god. But, I mean, kudos to you, who actually tried it. I don't think I would have been courageous enough to go through with it. Had my ball bag pierced to huh? impress a now very ex-girlfriend because she mentioned she liked it in a you know, passing conversation. Huh? Ew! What the fuck? Every time I think I find a winner on this thread, someone has to go and one up it. Yeah, I'm not sure which one is the top right now. If I had to say, I would probably say either the guy that joined the Marines or the guy that moved to Denmark to be in for, to just impress the crush. Like, the ball piercing is pretty, pretty high. But I'm pretty sure you can remove it as well, right? But if you abandon your home country to move into a different country, like, you move out, you move to a different country, you leave your job behind, all of that just to impress your crush. Just so she can get together with someone else. That is fucking wild. A girl who loved tattoos. Okay, yeah, I can imagine where this is gonna go. Got a tattoo. Yeah. Got the girl. Well, let's have a look. It might be alright if it's quite a small one. <laughs> Ew. It's a shit one as well. That is a big L. <laughs> I went up to a girl during a field day in middle school. Got on one knee. And, and sang the chorus of Toto's Africa. Back when you could record stuff from Bro, the radio what? onto a blank tape, I waited all damn day for this song to come on. Finally, I recorded it and biked like an hour and a half in the blistering heat to this girl's house and gave it to her. Turns out it was actually a Barney musical tape or something, and I didn't even record it right, so it was just all Barney the dinosaur music. We had a... The friendship song. Oh my god, bro friend sound himself unintentionally. What? That is minus 400 IQ right there. Oh my god, what? He friendshiped himself. He friend zoned himself. What the? That's a fun story. Like back then, I probably would have messed you up or demoralized you, but looking back on it, that's a funny story. Dick. We had a foreign exchange student my freshman year of high school. She okay. was French and absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So I busted my ass and learned a love song from a very popular French opera. I sang it mm -hmm. to her flawlessly. Found out that she was Swedish, not French. Len oh. Oh. How did you make that mistake? What? And her money so she could buy a present to her boyfriend. Oh. Friend. I wrote. Oh. That is pain. What the fuck, bro? Like, at one point, you just gotta know when to give up. Oh my god, Present that's to painful to hear. I wrote fan fiction, oh. him in, then I showed him. Oh! Every single letter, every single sentence is getting worse. That's already not great. That's way worse, and then you showed him. Um, analog pensive face emoji. I tried to... I'm not sure, does that already count as sexual harassment? 
What the fuck, bro? Press my crush by pouring a glass of orange juice into my mouth while laying on my back. Why? Instead, I poured it all into my eyes. I faked my eye Great. exam to get Great. glasses so I could have something to talk to my crush in third grade about, resulting in me actually needing glasses. Oh. Oh. See, this is also a painful one. This is not just a cringe story you think back on. It's something that actually has an impact on you later on. Ah. Uh, uh. I was riding bikes with a girl I liked. Decided to have a race, and if I won, she'd like me. I rode what? my bike at the speed of light. A speed if light. And left her in my dust. Rode all the way home and didn't see her for the rest of the summer. Uh, if the summer, I was flirting. What? Oh, that's sad. It doesn't say when or how old you were. What? Um, uh, I was flirting in class and I asked, so what, um, what school, what school do you go to? Ah! Bruh. That is a big brain fart moment. Dressed confidently in a Zorro outfit. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. God. I approached her in the middle of a 400 person huh? lecture i then proceeded to hand her a rose that was placed oh god in my what? mouth and asked her to be my date at valentine's day i went hey yo what Now, I'm curious. First of all, how old were you two back then? And second, what part of you thought, yo, that sounds like an amazing idea. He's definitely gonna like that. What the fuck? Be my date. At Valentine's Day, I went to my crush door to give her red roses, tripped over the welcome mat, broke my nose against the glass. I oh. bought red roses, got up early, went to her place and placed one rose on her doorstep, one on her windshield, one on her desk at work. Hey, you what? And one in her coffee cup. This sounds like the beginning of a horror film. One in her coffee cup. Bro, you're a certified stalker. What the fuck? This sounds like the beginning of a horror film. Yeah. Hey, on horror film, I bought a huge jar of pickles and ordered a bargain bag of preserved animal organs on Amazon. On what? Valentine's Day, I put the cow eye, pig heart, and porcelain lit. Hey, you. No, 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 what? ...into the empty jar, topped it off with isopropyl alcohol as a preservative, and gave it to the girl I liked. We started dating a while later. Ah! Huh? Ah! Huh? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, literally, I was going to say something. Then my, my, my brain was like, wait, let the story finish. Maybe there's something more to it. And there was. But what the... Like, I was going to say, you're a fucking psychopath. Like, that's the kind of shit a serial killer would do. And then she fucking started dating you. Look, people like this get into relationships and we out here still single. Like, I don't know. Do we need to be more psychopathic or what, what are we doing wrong? What the? She still has it and now collects other things and displays them next to it in her room. Ha! How of everything we've seen? How is that the one that's worked? It... Like you have people in, in this video moving to a fucking different country and then he hands her like animal organs and she's like, yo. This is the shit that I'm into. How did you know? And she fucking kept it. You know what? Maybe she's the psychopath.
like I think out of all of the ones so f uh, in this video the fact that it worked probably makes it the worst thing because it's something that should have never ever ever worked like think about it logically if someone gives you a jar filled with animal organs as a present for fucking Valentine's Day I wouldn't be like oh man how thoughtful of you that's exactly what I've been wishing for I would be like um okay thanks let me just go to the police real quick and get a restraining order on your ass but it worked like, how do you even call that is that is that animal organ riz or Bruh, I'm I'm a bit overwhelmed right now that this, out of all the things, this was the one that worked. Jesus. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong, guys. Maybe that's why we're all single. We just don't have the courage it takes to give our crushes some organs. <laughs> Bro. Crazy. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. A good suggestion. Thank you very much for that one. Um, yeah, if you have other suggestions for other videos, feel free to let me know in the comments. I appreciate it every, every time. Um, yeah, let me know which one was your favorite or the worst one in your opinion. I think the last one probably would be the worst one. Um, yeah, and I hope you all have a great Monday. Take care and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.